This is the habitable zone, the region around a star where it's not too hot and not too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. TRAPPIST-1 is an ultra-cool red dwarf, 40 light-years away, with seven rocky planets. Several of them orbit within its habitable zone. An Earth-like world, with a stable atmosphere and surface oceans, is a tantalizing possibility. Here's what matters for life as we know it. A planet needs liquid water, a rocky composition, and an atmosphere that's neither a pressure cooker nor a vacuum. Around TRAPPIST-1, the middle planets, especially TRAPPIST-1e, tick a lot of boxes. The JWST has been analyzing their skies. So far, the innermost worlds appear scorched and atmospherically stripped. But the hopeful ones, like E and F, are where we're hunting for biosignatures. We're looking for gases in disequilibrium, like oxygen with methane, a whiff of dimethyl sulfide, or spectral features consistent with surface oceans. No confirmed biosignatures yet, but hints are starting to sharpen. Oxygen-like edges, carbon dioxide patterns, and clouds that could indicate a climate. Imagine TRAPPIST-1e with a sky thin enough for sunsets, but thick enough to retain warmth. It would need a magnetic field to deflect flares from its star. Life may persist even under non-ideal conditions. The Milky Way hosts hundreds of billions of stars, and red dwarfs are the most common. If even a fraction of their habitable zone planets retain atmospheres, we're talking millions of potential worlds with liquid water. Of course, skepticism is healthy. Oxygen can come from sunlight breaking water apart. Methane can be released by geology. That's why we look for mismatched pairs. Gases that shouldn't coexist unless something is constantly replenishing them. It requires multiple, independent lines of evidence. Most likely, the first solid hint of alien life won't be a photo. It'll be a pattern in starlight. A tiny dip in a light curve, a jagged spectral line, a chemical duet that doesn't make sense without biology. Maybe from TRAPPIST-1e. Maybe from a world we haven't named yet. Your prediction. Where will we see the first strong biosignature? Drop your guess in the comments. I'll keep chasing spectra. Let's see what we find.